So hello everyone, uh, in this video I will be explaining the problem finding the user's active minutes. So I think this is a little bit easier side of the medium level. Uh, so in this problem, uh, what the question is asking me that uh, I have been given a log, uh, log vector and in it it contains the id of a user and it's his login time and what i have to like login not login time active minutes so what i have to return is that at a particular uh, say like how many users are there whose active minutes are say two three four so i hope you just read the question at once uh, because it is a pretty long question so in this video i will be first explaining the idea to solve this problem and then i will be coding it so uh, let's understand the problem like idea to solve this using this example so i have uh, pasted this example here so what this uh, is saying this example what does this example mean this example conveys me that okay i use there is a user whose id is one and his active minutes is one okay and there is another user whose id is two and his active minute is two and another use the same user two and his active minute he's active also at minute three uh, so so uh, suppose if there was another uh, log saying two comma two then uh, then i would have not considered it because like it is already two comma two is present so basically i am taking only unique uh, values so uh, like this i have calculated this and then what i have to return that at any particular time so for example uh, let's make this uh, and the k is four so one two three four so i have to tell that how many users are there whose who's active times like unique active minutes unique active minutes is only one so in this case my answer will be one uh, let's imagine suppose there was another user with id say seven and his active minute was let's say nine then uh, in that case it ha it would have been two so this is what i have to do uh, so as you are seeing that I am using this uh, array, this this data to fill uh, create this uh, to create this answer vector. So what uh, data structure suits the best for this kind of problem? So what data structure? As you can see that I should use map, and the first element of the map should be an integer that is my ID. And since I have to, I have to deal with the number of unique elements corresponding to a particular id so unique elements so in that case my best data structure will be a unordered set uh, because in this way i can always keep track of number of unique user minutes corresponding to a particular id okay so this is the main idea to solve this problem and then what i will do is that i will traverse through this map and say okay this user minutes uh, this user's uh, unique minutes is one so i will increase the count of one this user unique minutes is two so i will increase the count of two this user's unique minutes is one so i will increase the count of one corresponding to one to two so that is the problem and uh, it will be more clear as i code along so let's code it so first i will just let me go full screen increase the font to 16 pixels and then let's make a unordered underscore map int comma unordered unordered set int so let it be mp so and i will make another vector called vector int answer k so that this is what i will return answer k means uh, the question has asked me only to return uh, till k uh, uh, till uh, till k user minutes uh, it is a little bit confusing but i hope you are clear with the question then what i will do is that i will uh, make a so since i have to create this map first i will uh, write a for loop so for int i is equal to zero i less than what logs dot size i plus plus and here i will i'm creating some variables just so that i can make you understand better int id is equal to logs i zero and int time is equal to logs uh, what i one and then i will uh, update that uh, the the unordered set add this into the unordered set so corresponding to the particular id so map id insert 
time so so since this is an ordered set all the like duplicate elements will get eliminated automatically uh, actually they won't be considered so after i have created this now what i have to do i have to simply fill traverse through my map so another revision time i always forget how to traverse a map but uh, so you can also revise this this time so for auto iterator mp dot begin so it will start from begin and as long as it is not equal to mp dot end and it plus plus so this is it and so uh, for any particular id i will get that his unique uh, active minute so his uam will be it second dot size so second dot size is basically uh, what for example in case of 2 this is uh, this th th it's this size unordered set this is an order set its size is going to be 2 so this is uh, what is unique active minutes so uh, i have got this unique active minutes and then if the uam is less than equal to k less than equal to k this is because the problem has asked me to return this answer uh, like whose value is less than k whose user active minutes are less than k so in that case what i will do is that answer uam minus 1 plus plus uh, uam minus 1 plus plus because it is uh, it is one based index that is why uh, that is why uh, and then i will in the end i will return answer so let's run the code uh, it is running and then i will submit it Uh, it is accepted so this is the problem so like pretty simple map based problem and that's all you have to do so sometimes it's hundred percent sometimes seventy five percent fifty percent doesn't matter though so if the problem is clear to you please subscribe to the channel and bye thank you and have a nice day